Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're gonna take a look at exponential equations. And more specifically, we're gonna see, can we go from a table full of values to an actual equation in exponential form? Now, maybe you forgot what an exponential equation looks like, or maybe you didn't watch the introduction video before this one, but I have up here in the top left corner our generic form for an exponential equation. It is y equals a times b to the x power. Remember that a here represents our y-intercept or our starting point. Sometimes we call that the zero term. And b represents our multiplier or our growth, our rate of change. And what we wanna do is we wanna see from this table here, can we figure out what that equation is that represents these values? Now we see that we have some x values on the left side. It ranges from zero to four. And then we have some missing values here on the top of our table for y. But we do see it starts off at the second position at nine, jumps to 27, and moves to 81. So we wanna see, can we create an exponential equation that represents that table? So there are two big things that we wanna determine. What is the y-intercept? And what is the multiplier? Now the y-intercept is easy to find on a table. The y-intercept is the zero term. But unfortunately, we don't know that value just yet. It's blank. But once we're able to find that out, whatever number is here for the y value at zero, that is our a term. That's what's going to go first in our equation. So for right now, we have to put that on hold and instead focus our efforts on the multiplier. The multiplier is the one that we wanna focus on, and I think it's the one that we'll be able to find. Now remember, with a multiplier, that is the number that we are using to multiply each output to get the new output below it. So there is some number that I'm multiplying nine by to get 27, and then I'm using 27 and that same number to multiply and get 81. Now, some of you with this problem might be able to automatically see what the multiplier is, but some of you might require a little extra work, and that's totally fine. Let me show you how we can find the multiplier if you can't see the pattern on your own. To find the multiplier, what we want to do is we want to pick one of the terms in our table, one of the outputs, and we want to divide it by the previous term, okay? So you're gonna pick an output on your table and divide it by the one that comes before it because that will tell you what your multiplier is. So for example, if I wanted to choose 27 as the term that I'm looking at, I would take 27 and I would divide it by the term before it, which is nine. So I would do 27 divided by nine. We punch that into our calculator and we see that 27 divided by nine gives us a value of three. So three is the multiplier. When I go from nine to 27, I recognize that I'm just multiplying by three. Nine times three gives me 27. Now, if you're a little unsure with that number and you're not sure if it's the same number here, you could always repeat this process and you could do the same thing with 81. I could take 81 and I could divide it by the term before 81, which is 27. And if I do that, 81 divided by 27, I would see that we still get that same multiplier of three. So three here is definitely the multiplier in our equation. In terms of our equation, I now represent that B is going to be three. That is the number that I'm multiplying by as I move down this table. So we're good. We got the multiplier. The last step is we need to figure out what that zero term is. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to work backwards on this table, okay? I'm looking here at nine, and I know that there is some number here at the first position 
that I multiplied by three to get nine. But here's another way to think about this. As you move down the table, you are multiplying by three. But as you move up the table, you're dividing by three. So if I want to find out what my first term is, I can just take nine, my second term, and I can divide it by my multiplier of three. If I take nine and divide it by my multiplier, I will end up with my first term. So let's do that. Nine divided by three, I think that ends up being three. And we can see that if that first term was three, that three times three would in fact give me nine, okay? Let's repeat this process one more time so we can determine that zero term, the term we actually care about. So I'm gonna again take three and I'm going to divide it by my multiplier. So I'm gonna take three, divide it by my multiplier of three, and I recognize there that my zero term is one. That is my zero term, that is my y-intercept, that, more importantly for us, is our A term in our equation. I can now complete my exponential equation, and I know for a fact now that this equation, y equals one times three to the x, represents my table to the left. That's how you use a table to get your exponential equation. You need to find out your y-intercept, your y-intercept is always your zero term. And you need to figure out your multiplier. That is the number that you're using to go from one output to the next. And that step right there is how you solve it. Pick a term, divide it by the previous term. You will always get your multiplier. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.